Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson we are studying zero in division because it leads to some interesting situations. For example, if I have the problem 7 divided by 0, then what would be the answer? If you think about it, it could mean that let's say you have 7 apples, 7 apples and you are going to share them or divide them between 0 people, 0 persons. Then how many apples will each person get? Now that just doesn't make sense because you don't have any people, zero people. So you can talk about how many will each get, right? The other way you could think about it is how many zeros are there in seven? And that doesn't make any sense either, okay? You cannot count how many zeros are in seven. You could, you know, if you had seven divided by one, you could ask how many ones are in seven and get the answer, but not with zero. Well, somebody might say, how about if we say that 7 divided by 0 equals 0? Wouldn't that work? There's another problem, and that is that each division is supposed to be able to check it by multiplying. This times this is supposed to equal this, but we would get 0 times 0 equals 7 if we do that. Right? That doesn't work. So this doesn't work either. One other division. What about 0 divided by 0 equals 0, right? Would that work just fine? Because 0 times 0 equals 0. That part would indeed work. But then there is one yet different problem. And that is that actually some other answers would work just as well. If we said that 0 divided by 0 equals 4, that would work too, because 4 times 0 equals 0. Or 0 divided by 0, I could say, oh, it's going to be 11. And that answer would work too with the multiplication check. So there are problems. And that is why we say that this kind of division by zero is undefined, okay? What you can just simply remember that you can do it. You cannot divide by zero, okay? And you'll be all right. I also want to remind you that the other way around, if you have zero divided by some number, then that's just fine, okay? You would have zero apples and four people trying to share the zero apples. Everybody gets zero apples, right? And it works with the multiplication check, 0 times 4 equals 0. Everything is fine. It is when you're dividing by 0, this number here is 0, that you have problems. Okay? In case you wonder about multiplication, in multiplication, 0 works just fine. Just to remind you, if we have 0 times 4, you can think of 0 groups, and in each group would be 4. Okay? Or you can think of four groups where in each group there are zero items. Either way, the answer is zero, and also zero times zero is just plain zero. Now, let's solve some division problems. Some of these we cannot do, okay? Eight divided by one. Think, how many ones are in eight? That's eight. One divided by one. How many ones are in one? Well, just one. And remember, you can always check this by multiplying. One times one equals one. Everything is fine. Eight divided by zero. How many zeros are in eight? Okay, this is the one we need to just cross out. We cannot do it. Eight divided by eight, or how many eights are in eight? One. Zero divided by eight. How many eights are there in zero? Zero. And to double check, let's multiply. Zero times eight equals zero. Everything is fine. And then one divided by eight. Okay, that's a trick question in a sense because you haven't studied these kind of divisions in third grade. How many eights are in one? Okay, obviously none. But you can think of it this way. If you have one apple shared between eight people, then you cut the apple into eight parts and each person gets one-eighth, a fraction. 
For these multiplication problems, we will write a division under it that matches it. 9 times 1 equals 9. And a matching division, you start with this, with a total. And then you can write 9 divided by 1 or 9 divided by 9. There's two matching divisions for each multiplication. 0 times 7 equals 0. And I start with this 0 and write a division. This time, I cannot put 0 here, right? I cannot divide by 0. So I put 7 here, and the answer is 0. 1 times 1 equals 1, and then 1 divided by 1 equals 1. All right, a word problem about Matthew. He loves puzzle books. He loves math and puzzles. Matthew's puzzle book has 90 puzzles. He has already solved 42. He solves eight puzzles each day. He's going to solve eight puzzles, puzzles each day now. How many days will it take him to finish the book? Okay, you enjoying your puzzles? Oh, he says he is. He's already solved 42 puzzles. So how many puzzles are there left to solve? You might write a subtraction. 90 minus 42. What's 90 minus 40? First of all, that's 50. And then subtract two more. So we will get 48 puzzles left to solve. Okay, you're almost halfway through your book, Matty. And he's going to solve eight puzzles each day from now on. So how many days will it take him to finish the book? 48 puzzles to solve, eight puzzles each day. Just think of your multiplication tables. Or write a division, actually. You can think of it as division. 48 puzzles and then eight puzzles each day. And what do we get? Six, yes, because six times eight equals 48. Six days more fun for Matthew. Okay, well done with this lesson.